Well, the roads around here are expected to reopen tonight, but for firefighters, the work is far from over. We actually got a tour of the southern part of this fire line, and a week after this all sparked, crews are still dealing with hot spots. For the first time, ABC 15 allowed past two sets of roadblocks and inside the fire zone. Days after flames tore through this terrain, hotshot crews are still hard at work. As we walk the area, smoke from smoldering trees rising between blackened skeletons. Down a hill, a team using special axes to break up charred debris, dousing hot spots with water. Yeah, soak it down, too. This piece of line we've been holding two, three days now at least. Eric Anderson's been on the southern edge of the tinder fire since it sparked. And here still, the effort continues to extinguish it. We had a, an oak tree that was about 15 feet tall that we had heat in, so we fell it, and now we're going to mop it up. But something that worked in the firefighters' favor this time around was a prescribed burn in the area last fall. You're not seeing the, the little trees, the, the brush, the understory that creates the ladder fuels that climb up into the larger trees. Despite their progress, there's still a long road ahead. At base camp, a meteorologist analyzing weather up to the minute. Sky condition, precipitation chances, temperature, relative humidity, wind speed. All with the goal of aiding fire crews and preventing another flare-up. Near Happy Jack, John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona.